Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Zakwanya Wa'akim, to the Bayafsha Dawada, to the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai which means he is the deliverer. We are the Hebrew Israelites, okay, which consists of the so-called African Americans, Haitians, West Indians, Jamaicans, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latinos, um, uh, Hispanics, Latins, okay, but we actually make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel, all right? And this video, as you see, is from the Brother Lively Locksmith uh, 1, no, actually, um, <clears throat> I actually first saw it on the, another brother's channel. His channel is GMS Get This Work. You know, so Lord will I remember, I'll leave both in the description box. You know, and it's very, you know, it's only a minute, but this one minute is very powerful. And, and it says a lot. You know, this, I just thought that this would be a very edifying lesson, which I don't know this out is very edifying and uplifting and comforting to the very elect, you know, so I'm just going to play it, play the video, and uh, we're going to get out some precepts, you know, and edify. God taught us a lot of things, and I studied the Bible very, very well for a lot of years, and I went to every religion. God taught us a lot of things, and I studied the Bible very, very well for a lot of years, and I went to every religion on earth that I could go to. I've been to China. I've sat with the Buddhists. I've been all over this world. When I was in intelligence with the government, when they had something that dealt with religion, they sent me. They sent me into the basement of the Vatican with a group of people to look at the lost scrolls. And we brought out the United States government, brought out of the basement, the Maccabees, Esther, the wisdom of Solomon, many books of the Bible. Now, these books were taken out, you know, because these books were originally contained. And when you buy the 1611 uh, KJV, all right, you have you have the Apocrypha contained in the 1611 KJV. And the word Apocrypha means hidden. OK, so you have a collection of books that were taken out of the 1611 KJV. Right, the Bible Destruction Group, and I believe in the mid 1800s. Okay, and among those books were the Maccabees, all right, first and second Maccabees, Wisdom of Solomon, additions to Esther, Tobit, all right, the uh, Wisdom of Sirach. You see, with the whole Apocrypha, you know, which I just had to order a new one because mine, you know, mine was um, wearing and uh, tearing and the pages were tearing. It's, it's just time for a new one. You know, it's a very beautiful book containing of wisdom, history, you know, uh, Prophecy, you know, the the, the prophet for is very powerful, man. <clears throat> you see, so they took that out for a reason because, for one, the Maccabees explains the history of how the nation of, of, of Israel, okay, or, or the Jews or the southern kingdom became Hellenized or became Greeks, okay. So when you link that with the New Testament, it perfectly explains who the Greeks are, you see. So there's there's a, there's a, a sinister reason why they had to take these books out, but now through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, putting the spirit of life back into his men, start one of our apostles and elders and their elders, you know, going all the way back to Abba Vivens, you know, to uh to uh um you know for us to have this understanding today, and for us to go out there on the highways and hedges to teach it, because really it's the spirit. Okay, because they hid things, they defaced images, they practiced iconoclasm, which is which is destruction of images, they bleached our images, they, they knocked the the noses off, you know, they lied to us with their history books and, and and in schools, they lied to us in the churches, you see. But now the truth that had been so long, okay, hidden and uh and uh and, and slandered, okay. And it was just to the point where to where we looked at this book as if it were the, the white man's book, man. 
you know, speaking about the Holy Bible. And a lot of our people still believe that to this day, and they don't deal with the scriptures. They 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 either just don't believe at all, okay, or they're into uh, Islam or, or, or being a Muslim, man, you know? Well, that weren't in the Bible, okay? And there's many more down there, many more. The, the Catholic Church suppressed us like you wouldn't believe. They kept so many things hidden from us. Which the, Catholic, the Catholic Church is completely pagan and completely wicked. You know, the, the Pope, which is another word for Pope, is, is a, a, a priest, you know, pretty much a, a, a high priest. He wears a, a, a hat giving reverence to Dagon, the god of the Canaanites, a fish god of the Canaanites, man. All right, they do all sorts of wicked acts with 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 with, with children. They pretty much worship Satan. They 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 bow down to idols. They're heavy into idolatry. The worship of 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 Mary. You know, the Lord never told you to worship his mother. The Lord never told you to celebrate his birthday. Okay, so the Catholic Church is is completely wicked, man. And I believe the elder apostles brought it out. I believe it may have been Apostle Gabar, elder Apostle Gabar. I believe the. Uh, Vatican means uh, prophet of the serpent or something to that effect, if I'm not mistaken, you know, but pretty much it's, it's all completely wicked. OK, and it makes sense that they will hide stuff. And there's a lot more stuff hidden, you know, because notice he said there's much, much more down there. Right. Let me rewind it a little. Us like you wouldn't believe they kept so many things hidden from us. There are books of the Bible that reveal exactly what is happening in this world today. And we recorded it. And we know what it is. But you know what? I got to open it with this preset, man. You know? <clears throat> Because there's a lot, you know, and a, and, a, and a mistake people make, they try to run into the book of Jasher and the book of Enoch. Listen, we got everything we need. We got everything we need with the KJV and the Apocrypha, man. You know? Let me see. Yep. This is the, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 13 and 9. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. Okay, so everything is everything that we have with the, with the KJV and the Apocrypha, or if you have the sixteen eleven, we got Isaiah, you got Edris, you got Jeremiah, you got John the Revelator, you got the prophecy of Yahweh Shai, Matthew twenty four, Mark thirteen, Luke twenty one. Okay, so we have everything we need. So all of those books and everything that he's talking about that the Vatican still has has hidden, it's not to the point where it's stopping. It's not it's not stopping the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai being done. So in all actuality, we have all that we have. So when apostles say that they have 100 percent truth, that is correct. OK, and it was just a dream, which I believe the brothers over there in UK, you know, he had a, uh, the Lord blessed them with a very beautiful vision of a, of, 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 of a tall man, you know, bearded. OK, which was an angel that came to Apostle Tahar. And gave him a suitcase full of precious, uh, you know, jewels, silver, which represented the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And, you know, it was so much in there. He pretty much told him, you already got out everything that you could uh, obtain in this flesh. The next step is going to have to come when you get your new bodies. And that went for all the apostles, man. All the apostles and, and elders, you see. So the, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai is, is dealing with those men, you know? And so when they say they have, they have the 100% truth, then that's 100% correct. Now, are there some things out there that could still be hidden? Uh, of course. All right? We, we, when, you, when we say, you know, that we ruled Europe for a thousand years, they can't just erase a thousand years of history like that. That's why they had to whitewash it and you know, put their images in there because they were seeking to buy themselves some time because they know they were only going to rule for a short time anyway. And now that this is being revealed and they see more and more Israelites waking up, brothers teaching camps here, camps there, they really got to move fast, man. Okay, and we're already in the year 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashem El Shai turning up. So things are going to go that much more quicker, man. Time is speeding up. Hell, the prophecies are, are speeding up, man. 
Okay. So it says, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but in that part, it's still 100% truth. Okay. This, this place is still going to be hit with nukes. Okay. This is Luke 8, 17. Right. Yahweh Shai is still going to come back with Michael the Archangel. That man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. Right. This is Luke 8, 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Right. At one point, us being the real... Being the true people of the most side, that was a secret. <laughs> okay? That was a mystery, man. You know, because we lost that for a period of time. Okay? We we lost that, man. For nothing is secret that should not be made manifest, okay? That the that the scriptures uh belonged to the to the so called um Negroes, Latinos, Native American, that that's our history book. That was once a secret. Hell, it's, it's, it's so much of a secret that a lot of our people don't even believe it, man. They can't get it. You know, and King David made a prayer that let their table be made a snare. So not everyone can understand that this is their history book. You're going to have some people that blaspheme it, you know, that, that shoot it. Polite was in the gun range shooting at the scriptures, you see. Neither anything here that shall not be known and come abroad. So the truth is being evident. All right, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. They're so called black men. Okay, all of that is being made evident. Who his people are, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that's being evident. Okay, and what's happening is that these different leaders, or the elites, I should say, they're seeing the prophecies come to pass. They're seeing the elect wake up, the elders, apostles, men teaching, and they're, they're fearful. All right. This is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Okay? The their dead bodies is the, is, the, is, the, is the Israelites. Okay? And the great city is Babylon the great. Azeret. A new Azeret. <laughs> okay? Which you look the name up. It means bitter. Not the definition of Azeret, but the definition of America means bitter. Okay? It says, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. But also our Lord was crucified in this place as the spirit of Sodom. All right? They put a bomb up in there. And what do they do? They pass for the alphabets to get married. For them to adopt children. You see? And Egypt, this is where we served hardcore child of slavery. Hell, we're yet this day in our captivity. Serving slavery, being subject unto payments. You see? And when it says our Lord was crucified, meaning he was X'd out. Meaning you thought he loved everyone. Meaning you thought he could, you could come as you are. When you think about the, the son of God, you think about uh, uh, Cesare Borgia. Little do you know, a so-called white man. Okay? And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations, meaning all of the heathens, round about us. Right? Starting with the Edomites, Psalms 83. And the Ishmaelites, right? Shall see their dead bodies. Three days and a half represents the 350 years. Okay. Starting from 1619. Why? Because the Lord said, I will shall save the tents of Judah first. Yes, the northern kingdom. Yes, there was an other slavery in 1492 and the 1500s with the conquistadors. Okay. With Christopher Columbus and they tried to exterminate the, the indigenous people, the Tainos, the Arawaks, the Incas, the Mayans. Okay. But the Lord said, what? I shall save the tents of Judah first. Okay, so from about 1619 to about 1969, 1970, that's those uh, three days and a half, man. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grave, meaning they didn't give us any rest of knowing who we are or who, you know, who we, where we come from. Because if we figure that out, then we have, then we would establish a connection with our power and begin to call upon them. And then the Most High will what, hear us and deliver us. Okay? As always happened throughout history. Read the book of Judges. Alright? It says, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. And we were sent as slaves to the four corners of the earth. From Hawaii to the Philippines to Spain, Portugal, England. Okay? All over. Japan. Right? Because these two prophets tormented them that dwell upon earth, the two prophets being the north and southern kingdom. Okay, going all the way back to 
<laughs> the, the house of David, man. All right. And after three days and a half, right after the 350 years, the spirit of life from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai entered into them. As I stated, going all the way back to Abba Bivens, you know, the Lord put the spirit on them going to the New Testament and to linking with the old, gave them the understanding of, of Yahweh Shai and that we're the people this book is talking about, man. You see, and our apostles and elders, then they kept going all the way. Now we're in the year 2022. We're closer than ever to the second coming of Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're closer than ever, man. Okay, and they stood upon their feet, and that's what we're doing now. Week in and week out, we're out there standing up. All right? Rebuking, reproving, exhorting, prophesying, with all long suffering, suffering all things for the elect's sake, Lord willing, until the end. Okay? And great fear fell upon them, which saw them, and everybody who sees us, man, their great fear come upon them because... A, 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 Acts 5, man. Okay. If it be of the Most High, you can't overthrow it unless you be found to fight against the Most High. So there's nothing nobody can do. This is the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay. And no, this is not a white man's book. You see, the Most High, he, he, he pulled, pulled out his Holy Spirit <clears throat> of prophecy through visions, through dreams. Okay. And he, he told men, to go and write it in the book, man. All right? This is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right? Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And the prophecy means to say before it happens. So we're telling you before it happens that this place is going to be nuked. That there's going to be an ushering in of a new kingdom through your house, Shai. Strong's G, 4394. Prophetia. Prophetia. A discourse emanating from divine, divine inspiration and declaring the purposes of the Most High. What about, so there are prophets out here. All right. The Lord gives men dreams. He, he sups with them. He, he, he speaks through them in, in their mind. Right. What about reproving? And admonishing the wicked or comforting the afflicted or revealing things hidden, especially by foretelling future events of the prediction of events relating to Jehoshua's kingdom, Hamasiach's kingdom, and his speedy triumph, together with the consolations and admonitions pertaining to it, the spirit of prophecy, the divine mind to which the prophetic faculty is due, of the endowment and speech of the Christian was the real Christian or the Israelites, teachers called prophets. The gifts and utterances of these prophets, especially of the prediction of the works of which set apart to teach the gospel, would accomplish for the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's the spirit of, of the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. If you notice a lot of these other camps, they, they don't go on prophecy, man. They just watch your nationality, con, staff banging. That's right. T-shirt friends wearing Israelites, man. Okay, but we're out there in the spirit of prophecy. Okay, because we're hastening the, the coming of Yahweh Shah. We hasten, we're hastening the ushering in of a kingdom wherein we can dwell in righteousness, man. Okay, now with that spirit of, of, of prophecy, the spirit of Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah being poured out, to the Holy Spirit, the Most High, He commanded men to write what they saw, to know that in the book, man. All right, this is the Bible Hub. This is Second Peter one and twenty. All right, NIV. Actually, let me read the KJV first. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. Okay, NIV. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation. Of things, right? But why? Because it's not. This did not come by the will of a man, All right? Because people want to say man wrote that book. Okay, man wrote the book, but what kind of man? Verse twenty-one: For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, spoke from Yahweh 
by Shemini Oshai as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It says, For the prophecy came not in old time. This is the Ellicott's commentary for English readers, right? For prophecy was never sent or brought. Will, will Cliff and Rhymes alone have brought all the rest came. The verb is the same as that used of the voice from heaven. And also in this verse for moved, so that there is a telling antithesis difficult to preserve in English. Prophecy was not brought in by men. All right. It's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay. But men were brought to utter it by the spirits, the Holy Spirit, man. <laughs> okay. It's through the Holy Spirit that we have this book, that the Most High put the Spirit on those men to write these things down and to put it in the book. All right? It says, But my holy men of the Most High, the Greek is uncertain, a reading of very high authority would give us, but men spoke from the Most High moved by the Holy Spirit. This is probably to be preferred. Men spoke not out of their own hearts, but as commissioned by the Most High, not by the will of man, but under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, yes, yeah, a lot of very good information and points up in here. You know, but you can uh, read it. All right. You can read the commentaries. They're good to get into. You know, I got that from uh, the apostles, man. You know, let, let's go to Habakkuk. Let's see what Habakkuk says. This is Habakkuk 2. This is the Bible Hub which is with the different translations. The great study tool. Got the commentary, got the cross-reference, got the Hebrew, got the context, right? This is Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he who runs, that he may run who reads it, right? Let's go up to the NIV. The Lord replied, excuse me, the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald May run with it. <laughs> okay? It says, write down the revelation or the vision that the Lord gave Habakkuk, man. Okay? It says, on tables, better on the tables. The definite article probably indicates certain well known tables on which the prophets were wont to inscribe their utterances for public edification. These tables may have been hung up in a temple, Calvin, or marker, or marketplace. All right? Pulpit commentary. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because that's the true name, answers the prophet's expostulation, write that it may remain permanently on record, and that when it comes to pass, people may believe in a prophet's inspiration. Right? The vision, see the word, included, includes the inward revelation as well as the open vision upon tables, upon the tablets. Right? Uh, this is Jeremiah 30 and 2. It says, Thus speak it, Yahweh Shemiel Shai, the power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Which is why we have the book of Jeremiah. Alright? The Lord told Jeremiah, Before thou were formed in the belly, I knew thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. The Lord gave him many great prophecies. Right about Babylon and Egypt and about this modern day Babylon, the great upon Edom, upon Moab. Okay, and he told them, roll it, note it in the book for us today. <laughs> okay, it's simple, man. This ain't just something that, oh man, wrote it. Nah, the holy men wrote it. Okay. <clears throat> This is Isaiah 30 and 8. Go now, write it on a tablet for them, inscribe it on a scroll, that for the days to come it may be an everlasting witness. The Lord told the same thing to Isaiah. Right? Now let's go to Edris, you know, one of my favorites. The second Edris 15. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, which the my people are the Israelites, right? 
the words of prophecy, the prophetic words that I gave unto you, you go and tell them, which I will put in thy mouth. Was right, you know, we, we, we're speaking, but it's not us that's speaking, it's, it's, it's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay. This is Matthew 10 and 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is speaking in us, all right, to declare the prophecy unto the rebellious Israelites, unto the unto our people, man, that the Lord put it in, in, in the prophet's mouth. Okay? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Man. <laughs> Okay, let's go to Malachi. This is Malachi 3, verse 16. Then they that feared Yahweh Shem Yahushai spoke often one to another, and Yahweh Shem Yahushai hearkened, and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. For them that feared Yahweh Shem Yahushai and that thought upon his name. What's that book of remembrance? The Holy Bible. The Bible means a collection of books. Holy means it's separate. It's a separate collection of books because it, this book was uh, consists of the writings of the prophets, which those men got the inspiration from Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay, and everything that's written in these books, we see it happening today. Okay, so I'll get one more, then I'll end it here. This is second chapter six and verse twenty seven because this is what we're seeing on the earth right now, man, for evil shall be put out, evil is being put out, which is why this man has to come down with great wrath and move quick, and deceit shall be quenched, deceit is being quenched, man, all right, the spirit of poverty how about some shy deceit is being quenched by the words that we speak from this book, man, okay, if you come up to a camp and ask us a question. We're not going to speak out of our own heart. We're going to go to see what the scriptures say. Okay. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth with, which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. Call on him. Man, you know, I pray that this has been uh, edifying, comforting, and um, uplifting. Okay. I want to say call on him. All praise is honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors unto our apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings to the elect.